Hi everyone. So today I'll be showing how to disassemble and change the the shell of the PS5 controller. If you want like a very quick guide how to disassemble all this controller, you can check my other video where I fully disassemble the controller. Uh, so let's take off this back cover. Actually, is the first one. So first it comes off this this part with the pick. I should just go all the way around, and then it should come out. Then it just need to pull it a bit up be careful with this with these sides over here because they are fitted here in the controller itself and then you have here a couple of screws but to take you need to take these two but as well you have a couple of them over here under the l1 and r1 uh, button so you can try the with the pick and just fit it there and try to pull it up a little bit go a bit all the way around just to see if it will come out yeah just grab it through over there and careful because it they might pop up sometimes and okay let's see yeah and his as you can see it just pops up and the other the same actually if you just go through the top maybe it will be easier okay in this case and here you have a couple of more screws, one here and another here and these two like I mentioned before. So here you just get the Phillips screwdriver and I think this is PH0 and you take it, the, the screws. Okay, screws are out. And now just try to lift it all the way and actually just come out like that. Sometimes it's a bit more difficult than others, so it really depends. And the back cover comes off. And then you have here the battery, so let's take it off. Uh, you can use some, some pliers or you can do it by hand. Just wiggle here a little bit and sh should come out. Uh, as well, then you have here the 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 holder of the battery. You have here a, a Phillips screw, so I'll take it off as well. Okay, and here you have the camera, the microphone. So I'll just pull this ribbon cable out, and you can take the the microphone from the slot. As well, but I, I will take everything. Let's put here to the side. And now we will need to to take everything else. So let's take here the ribbon cable on the back. So as well, here you can use it by hand, pull it. But since this is, we have very little space, I'll use some pliers, or you can use some some tweezers, and then just comes out just like that. Or here, these ones as well, you should take them out over there. I will leave it here for, for the time being because I just want to, to check this one. And here as well, this other microphone. And they are out. And then we should be able to pull this board up. If you can try to press here the button, as you can see, and then it should come back. And I see already an issue here. Not sure if it was now when I was opening or if, if it was already like that. But yeah, this, uh, this wire from the for the rumble, it already uh, broke off. But it's not a big deal. This can be soldered. Okay, so we took this part. What we will uh, take, continue to take, we'll continue to take all the rest. Uh, I think, let me see. Yeah, I think we can take this part here, I'm not sure if I will be able to take these these screws. In some controllers, you don't have here these screws, so it really uh, depends of the of the type of your of your controller. So let's take these two screws and see if it just comes everything out like this. Uh, if not, uh, then we'll take these two screws as well. As well, here is a Phillips screwdriver. 
and let's see if it will come out. Yeah, it doesn't seem wants to come out, so we will need to take these two screws over here as well. And these two here in this case are, are longer. So now it should it should just come out just like this. So so that's it. So here we will keep everything as is. And uh, the camera, the microphone here we can take as well. Just should come out. Just careful because it can get stuck here. So it just comes out. Leave it there. And here for this, uh, for the, for the this part, you just pull it a bit up and just slide it like this, and then it should should come out. But here in this case, we will need to to disassemble this because we will need to replace it through with this uh, with this one with a new one, and uh, and yes, yeah, so we will need to take off these these screws. And actually, this back part here doesn't come in the in the kit; just the the front cover of of it. So let's let's take this one out. So a couple of of screws here as well, Phillips screwdriver. So with the with the kit, it comes the the screws. I think I just put it here to the side. But we have what it comes in the kit, it's uh, maybe it doesn't, in this kit maybe it didn't come. In some kits it does come here the tools, what you need, usually some something like this and a, and a small, and a small uh, uh, screwdriver. And let's take it, stick it out, so this part later we will need to reuse. Let's put it over here. And here we can take the, the ribbon cable. Okay, so this part like that. And we only need to take this, uh, this board over here. I think the board itself, it's, it's kind of glued. Let's see if we can just take it carefully without breaking anything or we need to yeah, probably we'll need to, to warm this up. So you can uh, do it uh, in a couple of ways. You don't use tweezers over here because you can scratch the board and these contacts over here, under under it. You just need to go with a with some uh, pick and see if it will come out. Uh, the best you can see, I can fit it in and it's already starting to come come out. But the ideal is to to warm it a little bit, maybe this side. It's the the ideal. You can warm it here over here as well a bit, but uh, best to warm it over here, and um, and then with the pick we will pull it out all all the way around, and then it will be easier to use the same to to glue it over over here in this in this one. So I will use the the uh, the hot. Uh, uh, the hot hair gun, but as well you can use, uh, if you don't have it, you can use a um, hair dryer and it will actually work, work, the, work the same way. So let's warm it up and take it off. It will make a bit of noise. So it's already warm, I can feel it, so might be easier not to take take off. Let's let's see. So try to use some some thin some thin uh, pick, and you can hear it all the way around, ready and locally. Okay, and actually it does come out, and you can see over here all all the glue. So let's put it in the in the other one as it was. See if everything will stick out in exactly the same place. Okay, so we just glued it, and as you can see here, you have this this small here 
part where it fits the board so it will not move out out of place and since it was warm if you put it right away it glue actually right away you can see not falling not loose or anything so let's uh, let's continue so this part actually it's done uh, here we will need to replace all of these uh, all of these buttons so I might replace all of them it's up to you but let's uh, we have here this part let's take here as well this front part if it wants to come out it's a bit stuck here okay so let's put it everything together um, you can use here the same rings or in, in my case I might use uh, new ones so here you have the buttons as well uh, since these buttons are already uh, a bit dirty so I will put I'll put the other ones the replacement ones so I'll put mostly um, most of the replacements here we have as well it comes the rings in case you need them let's let's put it can put right away the the rings they just fit it's very in place they have some gaps so just try to put one side and then the rest you go with your fingers all around and everything should go in place now it just jump out of place let's see if it will fit But yeah. okay so you just need to press it a little bit just to go into place and the other side exactly the, the same thing so you can see over here they are a bit out just try to press them in all around them to be in place and and that's it so all in place uh, the joysticks I will is the same they are they are quite quite okay uh, and now what you can do more um, we have here all the all the buttons let's put here just here in this side just to, to know I will check the old buttons so for example these ones I will I'll replace the R1 and L1 I'll put here them to the side so we have here brand new ones uh, and let's let's replace all of all of these so the rubbers doesn't come so we need to to use the same same rubbers let's take it bit by bit here we have like this this big thick rubber so let's take the buttons I might use these ones actually I uh, have another ones here from the replacement but these on the replacement for example don't have any markings on the on the top so I don't like it actually those so much uh, I thought they would have some markings but actually they don't so let's replace all, everything here put back in into place here and all of them seem quite okay so I will use white buttons with the black thing with the black cover maybe it will look nice let's see but probably not all of them just these ones and over this one here in the back and here probably I will use the 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 black ones it will be a bit a bit different but that's it for the buttons itself you can pull them put them in because they only fit in one specific place can you as you can see I have okay so see you have these these uh, parts of plastic sticking out let's see if you can see like that these parts of plastic this fits out and over here and on top and they just fit in one specific place here in the in the in the button but as you can see you know what is what triangle on top X on bottom so but if you don't know or if you want to change by the these ones these ones as well 
have the have the plastic sticking out so so you can use those those ones as well so let's put uh, all the others and the rubber on on top you have your specific spots where you you have your piece of plastic that fits in so it'll go all around and it will it will stay in so this part is okay now for this part uh, let's take the button over here this as well it's a bit it's a bit uh, dirty here in some in some spots but actually let me see how it looks like as well this has a specific place that needs to go you can see here the the bottom has the plastic sticking out so it was just it will just fit here Maybe actually it would be nicer if I have the the white one. At least it seems so. Yeah, it seems nicer with the white one. So I'll keep the white one. I'll just clean it well here. This this scratch, just to see. If then later on it will be it looks better. But for now we can put everything. And here is the same. Uh, everything fits in the in place. The plastic cover see if I can okay here to the you can see here plastic ones let's see if to fit yes it does it go one by one sometimes it's a bit tricky to find where it, where it is but eventually we will manage it so it's in place. Uh, what we will put more? These ones I will, I will not, I will not use them because they are quite, quite scratched. So I'll put, I'll put black ones in this, in this case. So it's a really up to you, what, uh, what you want to do. And as well, here they'll fit just in some specific place. Let's see, where do they fit? So it seems it doesn't fit so well. Not this side. Okay, so over here. And this one over there. And okay, I think here we don't need, we just need to put here the the other buttons here in the middle. So I'll put here the this one. This is the PlayStation button. So just fits as well. You have here the plastic part that goes here on the on the top just need to put it here in the, the as well it has here it is this let's see if the light you can see over here yeah when i'm putting the finger this one it will fit exactly here on the on these holes so yeah, this fit on the other side as well. In this fit, and as well, let's put here the the this button. This one I will put it. Actually, I'll put the the black one because this, if you see here, this uh, with the light, it will show up here light. But this one actually doesn't seem so. The light will not go will not go through, so. Even here for this case, I will I will use the the black one. Seems more or less okay, but then it's up to you what you have and what to buy. Um, so now let's put here the all this part. Let's see if it fits fine. It does fits fits fine. Let's put as well the um, get to put the the joysticks. Okay, and let's be careful with the ribbon cables over here. As well, here in the bottom, we have here the cables of the of the of the rumbles. Let's take them out of place. This one actually broke 
while I was uh, disassembling and it will fit but as well I went a bit ahead and actually we should have put here this uh, this part I totally forgot so let's let's put here the this one uh, and this one just fits exactly how it was before and actually here before putting the screws we need to put the ribbon the ribbon cable otherwise will not definitely will not work so you need to be careful what you are doing not to forget anything otherwise if you forget something then you need to always to go to go back and do it so put the ribbon cable and then goes again over here and that's it and now let's put the screw okay and now let's put this into place sometimes it's easier to if you want to put this in place it's easier to to first unscrew it and only then put it in in place but for me i i did like in this way and as you can see it does fit over here so it's all right in place you just put it put it in over here under this one then try to pull it in place because here these parts here go into into place these two sides uh, so we will not need these and now let's put actually here the controller all of it now i need to be careful here with the ribbon cable from this side as well uh, first before putting this we should put here the microphone and this one so keep it in in mind and here you have here some slot that it goes it fits it in over here sometimes it's a bit tricky so you need to be fit a bit in and try to go to from the other side over here and pull with the with the tweezers because sometimes it's a bit um gets a bit stuck and then it just comes up and here you have a bit little of uh in the middle of the ribbon cable i have a hole so you we just put the the hole you have a piece of plastic over here where the hole fits in perfectly so let's put the microphone here in this side because we have this over here this this part on the on the side that fits in in the in the shell that's it and over here it does as you can see hopefully it will fo it is focusing over here it does fit here in the middle so just went in and now let's put again these buttons because they they fall they are easy to fall okay and now we are ready to put everything back here together just need to be careful for the ribbon cables not to to be under the under the um, under the under the main board this one it's fine here as well we need to pass through here's through the back let's see if it will pass through okay i'm grabbing it and it does pass all fine all good what we are forgetting it's under the under this we have here the two screws here that we still need to put but that's fine can put them right away okay they are done we can put here as well in these two sides the, the black ones here in this case uh, these ones here are a bit longer but like i said uh, before some controllers we don't you don't have even these two screws it's just these and this one uh, i think in the i have another video where i disassemble a controller fully 
and there uh, you don't have this to screw so you can check that that video if your controller just like that uh, but that that's the only difference just see everything is it's tight and in place okay and now we can turn around this part here we have still the microphone hanging around that's not a big deal just be careful with these ribbon cables like i said let's put this this to the here for the board to be go under and here as well this one not be under the board and okay that's it it's in place just press a bit everywhere actually this is the most annoying part and let's put it here right away in the in the um, in the place actually the cable not to always hang around and and then go and then not to go out of place so just goes over there uh, then we can put the other ones I'm putting this by hand maybe I need here for this one since it's short cable here with the pliers just fits in here as well and actually I did mess up here a little bit we need to get these cables here from under okay it's just it's a bit under so it's not a big problem and then we need to take here out of place because this one we will need to cut a little bit resolve it over here not a big deal but yeah when we are taking off apart the this be careful with these cables because when you are twisting to one side and to the other they might break easily from uh, from the solder so just be aware of that but with the with the very cheap uh, soldering iron you can iron this you can solder this this back so let's put again these ribbon cables i'm putting everything by hand so you can do the same with by hand by hand or with the with pliers uh, or with tweezers i prefer these tweezers sometimes don't don't grab so well these cables so it's a bit hardish hard to put them in so okay we have it in and now what else more we can uh, we can do so uh so for now uh, now it's still this can move a little bit so careful when you put it down because you can see if you press a little bit here the it will it will come out uh let's see if i can put the camera like this one not the camera but uh, the the cover of the battery yeah i can do it and then i can solder it uh, right after um so i'll put here in place the in this microphone as well and so it wants to come out it has here the small plastic here in the side that fits right there in the place so you can see and all is good and i'll put here the screw just to tight everything down for me when i'm pressing here with the with the controller all the board doesn't come come up so let's put here the this screw okay and now it's pressed and uh, now i will just cut here a little bit of this of this top part and um, we can uh, we can solder this uh, this one here into into place battery as well probably the best is to put first the inserted cable that's it with fingers as well here you have here the where the over there the the wires pass so you'll have here a little piece of plastic that holds it in place and now let's put the back cover 
So start from this side and then just press everywhere and it should be in place. And now we'll, we'll just put here the screws, all of them, four of them, and then the buttons and, and that's it. Okay, and we put here put the cover and the buttons, both of them. The right one over here. Just press it and it will fit. And for the other side, the same thing. And that's it. You can see them. And here now the the cover. So it just starts. To press here in this side, and then it goes all all around, and this is it. As you can see, it's already searching, so everything working. So how connecting to the computer, but here not uh, not uh, any issues uh, with it. So I will share with you the um, the um, here and press a bit more. Actually, it was not fully pressed. Here you need to, the only thing that you need to be aware of it's uh, if you want to change the buttons itself, so at specifically the, the L2 and R2, so it's a bit more complicated, but if you just want to take the shell apart and replace it with a new one, so this is how you do it, or, the, or here the joysticks as well, buttons as well, it's not, not hard, here these buttons, so it's uh, kind of kind of easy. Just need to be careful inside when it's the main board, not twist it around a lot because, like you saw, these uh, these wires can can uh, can break from the from the board, the the solder. So hopefully this helped anyone. I will put the link as well in the of the of the parts uh, here in the description. So if you want to get those, they are still a bit expensive, but. Uh, but yeah, it's something that you can do by yourself. So this is how you replace the shell of the PS5 controller. Please like and subscribe and uh, see you in the next one. <laughs>